doom, doom, doom. If you're waking up at nine o'clock, <laughs> you miss Paul, say, Jake, it's and the shot. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Number nine, we've told you about this, but we have more. U.S. Marshals have been looking for bank swindler John Rufo since 1998. And with the baseball playoffs underway, they're again asking for your help. After a guy who looks like Rufo was seen right behind home plate at a Dodgers game in 2016. Rufo is one of the 15 most wanted for the feds. He was supposed to serve a 17-year sentence for a $350 million bank fraud scheme. But on the day he was to turn himself in, he went to a car rental lot at JFK Airport and vanished. Wow. Years later, his cousin in New Hampshire was watching the Red Sox play the Dodgers on TV when he saw the man he sure is his uh, cousin John Rufo right in the fourth row. He called the marshals immediately. But there was no way to tie him to the original ticket holder. Rufo is thought to have about $13 million that was never recovered. And now there's a podcast and Hulu documentary in the works. Well, was that him in the head last night? That's, like, I don't that's what I suggested. That's what Larry, I mean, yeah. you need that kind of, kind of money to afford a second row seat at a Dodgers <laughs> that playoff is true. game. You don't get to sit behind Mary Hart if you don't have <laughs> Mary cash. Mary Hart, she's always in the front row. That is so right. This is key. It's so true. Number eight. Abe Lincoln and Pat Tomasulo have something in common. Oh boy. Not height. Both are wrestling <laughs> champs. Pat was district champ, we know that. Honest Abe was a championship wrestler in Illinois long before he became president of the United States. He won more than 300 matches. Oh, cool. And apparently also hunted vampires from movies. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, believe I remember it was that. a documentary. That too, multi-talented man. Number seven, you're shopping in a store, you go to check out, and they ask for your zip code. Not so fast. It seems less invasive than your phone number or email. But retail analysts say when stores have your name and zip code, they've got a better chance of retrieving your personal information. This includes your mailing address, phone number, and records of past purchases. It could also lead to more junk mail and spam calls as well. So you tell hmm. them no. Does that mean I can get gas without putting in my zip code? <laughs> Doubtful, Mike Jansen. Yeah. Oh, Probably right. not. Well, number six, for years, people in Puebla City, Mexico, talked about a series of mysterious tunnels hidden way below the city. It was dismissed as legend. For hundreds of years, the tunnels were never found. Then, in 2015, a construction crew discovered a tunnel. The more they excavated, the more they found. In fact, they discovered six miles of tunnels under Puebla streets. They are believed to date back to the 16th century and were used all the way through the 19th century. They are now popular tourist hmm. attractions. All right. Number five, you got to hand it to school, kids. Sometimes they can make something funny out of a sad situation. In Idaho, now no one was hurt, but a 13-year-old girl came to school with a gun in her backpack, so the district banned all backpacks. And the kids responded with a pretty good prank that's all over TikTok. They found other ways to carry their stuff. They came to school with doll strollers, <laughs> shopping carts, laundry baskets, okay. plastic sleds. Oh, look at the little, the little shop, the Fisher Price thing. Yeah. Anyway. Did, were they allowed to get the backpacks back after this? I, I like this I level wonder. of civil disobedience. Yeah, yeah. Being shown. this is good. I like the strollers. Good. They're sticking it to the man. Yes, there they are. All right, number four. If you're looking to change things up this fall, get ready to go bronze. This feels like a Paul Conrad reading. Yeah. Brings a bit of warmth and depth to your hair. Not only that, it brings a definite glow, especially as that tan is wearing off and your skin is feeling a bit dull. I think J-Lo or Beyonce, who actually have natural tans, but they're sipping up some serious hair heat as we inch our way toward colder weather. If you're not ready to go all in, try some bronze highlights. You'll thank us later. I just want people to be realistic about it. You're not going to probably look like J-Lo or Beyonce if you don't have that right. particular well, background. There's some genetics in melanin some genetics that's going in on in there. The tan isn't going to go away. Correct. Right, Ava Mendez. I, I, right. I just want to put it out there. All right. Overpromise and underdeliver. Right. That's what we're about. <laughs> that's 
we do here at Good Old Number Nine. Number three, lots of people are getting back to the office after a long time of working from home. Some are a little thrown off when they meet people they have only come to know over Zoom. And one of the remarks some people are getting is that they had tall person energy on Zoom, but in real life, they're not tall. Some of these cases are detailed in an article in Slate, and it works both ways. A tall guy was seen as reserved on Zoom, and a woman who was 5'4 was kind of surprised to find that colleagues she'd been dealing with were shorter than she. But people have reacted differently to the term tall person energy. Some take it as meaning confident, but others take it as a backhanded compliment, as if their height has something to do with competence, and I am definitely one of those people. I project tall person energy, but guess tall what? Tall person energy. Barely 5'9", wow. and I'm totally okay, okay with that. <laughs> hey, number two, next time you're at a fancy restaurant, pay attention to the chef's hat. There was a time when the number of folds in a chef's hat represented the amount of experience a chef had. For example, if the chef knew 100 ways to cook an egg, that hat would have 100 folds in it. Or a single pleat could represent a new recipe that was recently mastered. These days, not all chefs wear the big hats. It's a matter of preference. I did not know that. 100? Yeah. Can you imagine all the pleating going on? Yeah. <laughs> Number one, it's coming up on Halloween time. So from the guys on YouTube who call themselves Burger Fiction, this is a supercut of the houses from 30 different horror movies to make one horror movie super house. Let's do it. This is it. You gotta be kidding me. Boy, if John Cusack's in there, I'm rooting for the ghost. He never comes on. He never oh, comes on our wow. show. Oh, he hates oh. us for some reason. I don't know I what he's doing. I tried to interview him outside Wrigley Field once. He's like, no. Nah. Right? No. I mean, what? I mean, I get it. Oh, say anything was like 40 years ago, right? I, I Don't worry, Larry. The White Sox are in the playoff. He will show up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that the and, White Sox are in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh-huh. And no one will care. <laughs> and no one will care. Larry's correct. the president of the fan club of John Cusack. Well, he's, I liked watching him in his movies, but come on. How about coming on the scene? He, he lives in Chicago, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. He used yeah. To. yeah. All yeah. I know is David Arquette was on the show. That's right. He was. He definitely was. Yes. Yeah. That's the 9 of 9. It's a nine at nine. <laughs>